Hello everybody, my name is Gra- And my child starts crying now. Hello everybody, my name is Gravity, and welcome to Will You Press the Button? A game that I'm sure many YouTubers played about five years ago. I was thinking of something to do, and I thought of this game, so let's do it. All right. You and your friends have the ability to play any song on any instrument, but each time you play a song, you're hit in the back of the head by a brick going 30 miles an hour. Now, I'm not a physicist, but I think a brick hitting you in the back of the head at 30 miles an hour could potentially be fatal. I feel like I want to look this up, but I don't want to slow this video down, but I'm going to say no. And besides, when does the brick hit you in the back of the head? As soon as you start playing it, then you can't play a song on any instrument because you never actually get to play the song because you get hit in the back of the head with a brick. Does it happen randomly throughout the song so you're just dreading a brick hitting you in the back of the head as you're playing a song? Nah. I will not. I will not. Uh -huh. Anyone who hit that button said that they would. That they misclicked. 19,237 people misclicked. There was a $100 bill floating in the toilet of the bathroom stall you entered. You must reach into poop to get the money, yes. Yes, I can wash my hands. I can always wash my hands. I can bleach them, I can sanitize them. I can burn them if I wanted to, to get all the poop germs off. But yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I deal with poop on a daily basis. I'm not afraid of no poop. Create any video game you want by simply imagining it. But the soundtrack has to be Justin Bieber and Nicki Minaj only. Okay. I don't know anything about Nicki Minaj except she has, I think she has a really annoying voice. So I don't like Nicki Minaj. I don't mind Justin Bieber. I actually like some of his newer stuff and his music in general isn't bad. He's just gone, gone through his arc of being a scummy person. Uh, I don't really follow him so i don't know how he's doing now but of my limited knowledge i think he's attempting to be a better person so i mean i wouldn't mind justin bieber being on my soundtrack i mean i actually uh what's the song i think it's called monster i actually really like that song but uh i mean yeah why not i mean i don't like Nicki minaj but i don't hate her it's because i have absolutely no feeling towards her whatsoever because i don't really i don't listen to her music but um yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure she's talented in some way. Oh, this one's pretty split. That's because I, I, it's, it's a it's a weird question. Next, um, you can have anything you want for the rest of your life, but you can only speak to two friends and will never be able to marry or have a family. Well, um, what about people? I'm already married and I already have a family. So does this not apply to me? And <laughs> both of you to assume that I have two friends. Uh, let's pretend that I'm not married and I don't have kids. I can have anything I want for the rest of my life, but I can only speak to two friends. Well, the thing is, is that looking back to my childhood and the people I grew up around, I don't know who I'd pick. I don't. That's sad. Hmm. All right. Nope. Really? I would think that more people would want whatever they, you know, usually people like to have a close-knit group of friends anyway. And if you could pick two, and I know a lot of people right now who are, uh, uh, like Gen Z going up into adulthood, aren't really interested in having children. And, I mean, COVID, people suck anyway, and so I don't know, I'm surprised. You will invent time travel, but... People will use it to go back in time and make sure this button is never pressed. What? Is this a paradox? You will invent time travel, but people will use it to go back in time and make sure this button is never pressed. So even if I press it, I invent time travel, but then someone travels back in time to make sure I don't press this button so I do not invent time travel. This is paradox and a time loopy timey wimey so i guess it doesn't matter what i press it doesn't matter if i invent time travel or not or maybe i did invent time travel and the reason why i'm considering not inventing time travel because the person who 
Wait, who's going back in time? What are you guys? I want you going back in time to prevent me. Oh, that is it. I don't know what button to press because it's kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. So, um, let's invent time travel. I bet it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, 45 minutes of half spread for top. Yep, that, that one's a conundrum. You have everything you want in life and you will be happy. But the person you love will be your best friend and they will never love you back. If they're your best friend, they do love you. Just not sexually. God dang, I hate these. I'd be a little sexually frustrated, but I mean, it's not the same. Oh my gosh, this because this 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 question annoyed me, so I'm not gonna press it. TikTok gets banned in every country of the world, but all of the cringe TikTokers now post content on your favorite platforms. <sighs> I'm on TikTok. Those are my cringe posts you're talking about. And I will not be demeaned like this because I enjoy making cringy TikToks. And YouTube videos. It's fun. I will not. <laughs> oh my. Oh wait. Okay. So majority of people still do not. <laughs> wait. Oh, this is a newer question. So the, the differentiation of the ratios isn't that high. Because TikToks had not been along, on, on, uh, around for that long. Anyway, but still, more people did not press the button than did. Next. People genuinely listen to everything you have to say, but you always spell grammar, grammar. I don't care. Absolutely, I press this button. I misspell one word for the rest of my life. I misspell all words I spell anyway. There's there's no downside. All right. Next. You can have any superpower you've ever wanted in your life, but you are forced to marry your worst enemy, girl or guy. Um I don't really have a worst enemy. Who is my worst enemy? I, I I tend to try and avoid having enemies. And even my own personality type, even if I get upset at someone, I'm not someone to be angry for very long. Because if I want to be angry, I really have to make myself be angry. Because if it, the anger is not coming naturally, then I'm not going to, uh, like, falsify the anger just so I can stick it to him, which is just me wasting energy. Um, hey, you have any superpower you want, so you have a superpower, and then you marry your worst enemy. But your worst enemy doesn't know that you're a superhero. So maybe you actually have a loving, like, relationship, except your worst enemy actually hates your superhero version. And there's this whole love-hate dynamic type thing. Anyway, no, I'm not pressing it. I'm going to do a few more. You can have... Oh, I, already, uh, I hate that the question. Uh, most people pressed it. Hmm. You can enjoy Coca-Cola products for free. This is my husband's question. He loves Coca-Cola. But you miss out on many wonderful products of... Was this sponsored by Coca-Cola and Pepsi? It doesn't matter which one you press, you're promoting one of them. I don't care. It's a... I'm not really a cola person, but I like Coca-Cola better than Pepsi because Pepsi is too sweet. Um, and uh, Coca-Cola has a little bit more of a bite to it, which I like more than Pepsi, but I'm really a Dr. Pepper person, so... Uh, but, I mean, I'll, I'll press it and I'll give all the Coca-Cola to my husband because he loves Coca-Cola. And that would be a great present. <laughs> and you'll miss out on the many wonderful products of PepsiCo, such as Pepsi, Pepsi Max, and many, many more. Okay. Um, you can take back anything you say, but, 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 you have to live without TV? What? No. That's dumb. That's dumb. Master every martial art in the world, but your first opponent is Shark Marks. Can you lose, but like not die? I don't know. I don't care enough. 
<laughs> Lots of people press the button. Nice. You can live your life in the Pokemon world. This is another question for my hubby. Any region and come back to Earth at any time. But you became Brock and you have to stick around with Ash the whole time. I'm going to send this one to my husband. I'm going to see what he says. He says, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty split. It's a 5149 split. <laughs> I'm gonna do two more questions. You have wait, you have every you, you have the ability to speak but not read every language fluently, but you cannot remember things from more than two years ago because it takes up two space. That's not how brain capacity works, and I don't remember you this morning. Uh, I'm probably going to think too deep. I don't want to... Okay, so that's... I don't want to forget, like, years I've been, like, married or, like, have kids. I mean, if I was just a person on my own... Uh... What if I learned a really big life lesson? And it happens at that two-year mark. And, I mean, is it... I remember things from... Wait, you can I remember things from more? Okay, you remember things from two years ago. And so as you move forward in time, the things you remember, like, move with you. And so what if you have some big life-changing revelation and then you're moving through time and then you forget it? And it's like, huh, I wonder why I don't drink alcohol anymore. Oh, well, and then you go binge, and then you realize, find out why you just stop drinking alcohol. <laughs> I, I, this game is not for overthinkers. I'm not going to press it. Uh, oh, most people didn't press it. Tumblr feminists are erased from history, but Brody's become a prominent political force. <laughs> Look, I know some Brody's, or I do some Brody's. I don't know how big the fandom is now, but it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> They're not all complete weirdos. Some are just animation and storytelling enthusiasts. And they were surprised that this kid's show was actually good. Yes, there's creepy people, but there's creepy people in every fandom. In everything. It just depends on who we want to focus on at a certain point in time. Yeah, Brody's being a... <laughs> Uh, that just sounds fun. I mean, we had Donald, Donald Trump for four years. That was miserable. You can think about how fun it would be if we had My Little Pony fans running the country. Wouldn't that be great? I'm going to press this button. <laughs> I didn't even think about the feminists on Tumblr. I'm not, I don't really ever go on to Tumblr, so I don't know how obnoxious they are, but I'm pretty sure they are. But... I have no personal experience with them. Okay, one more question, then I'm going to leave with you guys. <laughs> okay, this is the question for you guys. You'll become famous, but everyone will seek you and find you and try to get you. We're not ending on this one. That's that's stupid. Of course. You, no. No! Okay, let's, let's, let's send in a good one. Okay. You have, an, you have unlimited, ultra-fast internet, which is free for the rest of your life, but you have to use Internet Explorer. Okay, I want to I wanna leave this one with you, but I mean, this is also a stupid one. Because if it's ultra-fast, does it not matter what browser you're using? Isn't Internet Explorer just a meme because everyone uses Google now? 
This one's dumb too. I mean, we're not ending on this one. I'm going to find a good one to end on. This is a good one. You become the smartest person in the world, but everyone in the world will hate you no matter what. This speaks a lot about our distrust of professionals now. I'm not going to go off on that tangent. Anyway, this is the question for you. You will become the smartest person in the world, but everyone in the world will hate you no matter what. Will you press the button? Will you not? Will you be smart or will you be dumb? Average or whatever you are. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I might do this again. Maybe I'll include my husband in the video next time I uh, do this kind of game. Uh, that's all for now. Bye-bye.